A few weeks ago, I released this video which went viral on the Ale Heinz defense and if at all you haven't watched it already, you can find the link in the card above or in the description down below and be sure to subscribe to my channel so that I can be encouraged to keep on making more wonderful content just like this one. Hence, my task in this video is very simple, just to challenge some random chess players on leeches in order to see if the tricks that I showed you in the last video can still work against some really strong players. Spoiler alert, some 2400s ahead, so you need to stay tuned. Okay, let's go. Oh, I'm playing against a 22-34 rated player, so e4, knight f6, the Alehine's defense. Now, if at all you guys didn't watch uh, the video that I made on the Alehine's defense, I suggest that you watch it. The link is in the card above. So, knight d5, that's the way to go. Plan is to go pawn to b5 next. Okay, we go b5. So, if white takes, pawn to c5 is coming. Okay, bishop takes b5, so we go c5. The plan is to go queen a5 check, plus winning the bishop, the light squared bishop. So normally, white takes on c5, which they shouldn't. Oh, pawn to c4. Okay, attacking my knight. So let me just take on d4. Idea is to still go queen a5 check. I mean, if pawn takes knight, I have queen a5 check and white cannot defend on c3 with his knight because i'm just gonna capture with my pawn oh now this is interesting so what did we learn here knight b4 is the way to go intending to go on c2 next yep i think let's do that simply knight b4 yes so knight b4, the idea is to go on c2, forking the king, the rook, and the queen. That would be nice. Bishop b7 is also coming. Oh, can I go queen a5? Because that's the right continuation. Idea is to go knight c2, check. The queen cannot defend, cannot take my knight. I also have intentions of going pawn to e6. So if I go queen a5, Knight c2 check, or let me just play e6. Okay, with e6, I still have an option of going queen a5. The pawn on a3 is pinned to the rook on a1, so white has to be careful. If pawn takes, I'll take the rook. And I also have ideas of going knight c2 check plus winning the rook on a1. Knight c2 will be check. Life is good for me. I don't know about my opponent. Okay, let's see what my opponent is going to do. At west, I have bishop b7 eyeing the rook on h1. And s6 is also coming because... Oh! Knight d2. I have s6. Still, pawn takes my knight doesn't work after s6. Okay, pawn to s6. Now white's light squared bishop is trapped, it has nowhere to go to. And if pawn takes my knight, the rook falls. Wow! <laughs> That's amazing. I think white is losing now. I have too many threats. Taking on b4, taking on c1 with check, taking on b5. <laughs> so many free things to take in this world. <laughs> Now, this is just a random chess player on leeches. I don't even know him. He's not a paid actor. And, oh, he just resigned. Oh, sorry, dear. I just needed to beat you. I just needed to disappoint you. Anyways, let's do some quick analysis here. Let's just say white made a random move from here. Knight f3 instead of uh, knight e2. Here I would have just, uh, you know, uh, captured on b5 first and after pawn takes, I go knight s6 first so that I do not hang my bishop on c8. Anyways, 
So before I play another game, please you guys consider subscribing to my channel so that I can be encouraged to keep on making more wonderful content just like this one and just for you guys. And please don't forget to leave your comments down below in the comment section. Hit the like button, share this video and remember to check out the link for my new website in the description down below where you can purchase all my courses at very affordable prices. Okay. Oh, we have a game. So I'm playing against a 2430 rated chess player. Is this trick going to work? Okay, let's go pot to b5 again. Is he going to take? Okay, now we go c5. Mm, queen a5 is the idea again winning the bishop, the light squared bishop. Most of the players here just play pawn to c4. Let's see what he's going to do. D takes c5. Queen a5 check, winning the bishop. If knight c3, we'll just take the knight. Oh, pawn to c3, we take the bishop. Yes, because I have bishop b7 if queen takes on d5. Wow. <laughs> now, white is losing his g2 pawn and the rook on h1 and everything that he has in this world. Okay, so the queen is under attack. White should do something about that. So you can see that these tricks also work against higher rated chess players. And I have so many nasty ideas such as pawn to e6, bishop takes on c5 and bishop takes on g2. Wow. So we take on g2. Yep. Take on g2 first. Queen f1 check is also coming. And I'll take the rook. Oh wow. So f4, queen f1 check. Next we take the rook. And then we'll take the knight. Oh, okay, knight e2. So I play knight c6, attacking the queen. Next idea is to play pawn to g6 and maybe bishop g7 or bishop h6. So can I play pawn to g6? So from here, I just need to start exchanging pieces and not clothes. Oh. I meant to say pawns, not clothes. <laughs> Why is my mind so dirty at times? Oh, my queen is under attack, so queen g2. Next, I'll just give white a check. Bishop g7 is also coming. Maybe pawn to h5 later on. Wow, so many ideas. And this is how you guys should be thinking when you're playing chess, so let me give him a check. So queen d5 check. Wow. Now my bishop is under attack, so I go bishop f3. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we go queen c4. Queen c4 attacking the dark squared bishop. Yes. I also have ideas of playing knight b4 check. Yeah, now I can go knight b4 check. Knight b4 check will also win the queen on e1. Wow. Okay, I'm intending to win the queen. And this is a 2400 rated chess player, you guys. So surely these tricks do work. So we gave him a check on d3. Oh, I don't have to capture his queen because he's going to take my queen with his knight. So let's take the bishop. Wow. White is under pressure. So let's exchange queens. I take the queen, right? So the reduction theory is attacking my bishop. Let's take the pawn on e5, indirectly defending my bishop. Anyways. I think let me go bishop h6 instead of g7 or e6. Mm -hmm. Idea is just to exchange as many pieces as I can to trade off pieces, cast short. What is white going to do? Okay, now let's take the knight. Because the more pieces I exchange, the more chances I have to win the game. 
And that's what you guys are supposed to be doing. Just exchange as many pieces as you can. So idea is to take on b4 and then if king takes, I go knight d3, check. Oh wow. Pawn to b5, we go pawn to a5. Okay, so that's knight c3. Attacking the rook and the pawn. Rook d1, we take the pawn and next we exchange knights. I think knight e4, yes. Whoa, now rook takes is a blunder because I have rook fc8 check and winning the knight on c3. <laughs> wow, now white should resign here because I have the other rook there. Oh, bishop can pin the rook. Wow. Okay, so white just resigned. I think out of respect. He should have resigned a long time ago, but anyways... Now one of the questions I get from my dear subscribers is that why is my online rating so low? Well, I use this account specifically for discovering new tricks and gambits for the purpose of creating good content for you guys. I do have a separate account which I use for serious games but if you guys want to check out my courses the link for my website is in the description down below you can check out my courses and purchase them at very affordable prices so let's just do some quick analysis here pawn to c4 is also playable but there we have knight b6 and then if pawn to d4 we have d6 i mean it's not just about the tricks you guys at the end of the day we still have to play chess right we'll take on e5 and Please note that after pawn takes on e5, white shouldn't take uh, using the d pawn, otherwise we'll take the queen. So white should take with the f pawn and then we'll play something like knight c6, putting more pressure on the d4 pawn and gain some initiative. For example, knight c6 and then white should play something like uh, uh, bishop to e3, sorry, bishop e3, defending the d4 pawn after which we develop our light squared bishop and then we play pawn to e6. Next, we develop our dark squared bishop and castle short. But you can check the leeches database and you're going to agree with me that pawn to d4 is by far the most played move after knight d5. So you should be good to go with this trick and make sure to play it correctly. Anyways, this is all for today and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please, if you did, consider giving it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave your comments in the comment section down below. Share this video and remember to check out uh, the link for my new website in the description down below where you can purchase all my courses at very affordable prices. Love you guys and hope to see you in the next video.